members of Congress uh, and the members of my administration who are here, uh, including uh, our friends who are doing outstanding work every day, John Mary. gay, bisexual, and transgender Americans who have their lives uh, to our most basic ideas. Equality not just for some, but for all. Together we've marked major milestones like the 40th anniversary of the Stonewall Rights. Group of brave citizens held their ground against brutal discrimination. Together we've honored the greatest pioneers who decades ago came out and spoke out who challenged unjust laws and destructive uh, prejudices. Together, we stood resolute, unwavering in our commitment to advance this movement and to build a more perfect union. Now, uh, I've said before that I would never counsel patience, that it wasn't right to tell you to be patient any more than it was right uh, for others to tell women to be patient a century ago or African Americans to be patient a half century ago. After decades of inaction and indifference, uh, you have every reason and right to push loudly and forcefully for equality. Three years ago, I also promised you this. I said that even if it took more time than we would like, we would see progress. We would see success. We would see real and lasting change. And together, that's what we're witnessing. For every person who lost a loved one at the hand of hate, we ended a decade of delay and finally made the Matthew Shepard Act the land of all. HIV entry ban. Yeah. And by the way, because of that important step, next month, for the first time in more than two decades, the International AIDS Conference will be held right here in the United States. For every American diagnosed with HIV who couldn't get access to treatment, we put forward the National HIV AIDS strategy because who you are should never affect whether you get life extending care. Uh, Marjorie Hill. Yeah! Uh, PMHC has saved so many lives, and this year they are celebrating their 30th anniversary, so I'll let you back. spouse denied the chance to comfort a loved one in the hospital, to be by their side at their greatest hour of need, we said enough. Hospitals that accept Medicare or Medicaid, and that is most of them, now have to treat LGBT patients just like any other patient. For every American denied insurance just for being lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender, we passed health insurance reform, which will ban that kind of Sex partners of uh, federal employees, prohibited discrimination on the basis of gender identity for workers in the federal government. Yeah. Marriage Act. Yeah. And as we wait for that law to be cast aside, we've stopped defending its constitutionality. Yeah. the rights of LGBT communities all over the world because as Secretary Clinton said back in December, gay rights are human rights. Yeah. 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 Of course, 
Last year we finally put an end to Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Yeah. Big room. 